Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another tutorial. So recently I had like people requesting on my Instagram page for me to do a lot more hair tutorials. So today I thought I would just pick a really, really simple one. I know majority of people know how to straighten their hair, but majority of them don't. And I always feel like when I'm out and about or things like that, or just my friends always ask me, Jade, how the hell do you get your hair so poker straight? Like how do you section it? I just can't seem to get the straighteners at the back of my hair or anything like that. But today I'm here to give you um, some tips and tricks and just to show you how I simply straighten my hair and how I get so sleeky but with a little bit of volume at the top. So if you want to see how I get my hair very nice and sleeky and straight and with volume on the top please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to like the tutorial if you enjoyed watching it but let's get started. Okay so I was going to film me blow drying my hair but to be honest, I don't really have like any routine on how I blow dry my hair. I just get the blow dryer and just blast it all over my hair. Um, but the two products that I do use when I'm blow drying my hair is the Tony and Guy London Salon Prep Heat Protection Mist Smooth and Prepped Finish. So I just use that. I spray it like all over my hair and especially like on the ends because that's where I've got like all the blonde colouring. Um, so as you say, as it says, it gives you like a smooth and prepped finish so this what helps me like get that like smooth um no like static bits all over my hair and then on the ends of my hair just to make them like a lot more smoother and a lot more easy to brush through i go in with the mark hill moroccan argan oil um, and i got this from boots in a set and this is so so good because it leaves my hair like feeling super super soft on the end so it always helps me so the first thing i like to do before straightening my hair is just brush out all the knots with a tangle teaser you can use like a normal brush i just like using a tangle teaser because it's a lot more easier on my hair now that i have colour on the ends of it so yeah I'll just brush all the knots out this is going to make it a lot more easy to part in your hair and straighten your hair as well and this is just the tangle teaser from Boots I got I really like this one because it's pink so and um, the first step you want to do to help get your hair like really nice and straight and just so it's a lot more easy to straighten is you want to section, section your hair off so I like to um just like take like two inch of the hair and it doesn't have to be perfect um, if you can get like a really nice clean line that just makes it a lot more easy to straighten me so you haven't got like all dangly bits all over the place and then I just like to get that and literally um, twist it around into like a cool little burn on top of my head and now to make it a lot more easier is I split right down the nape of my neck and take two parts now I do cut these parts out of the way just so um, it doesn't get confusing so it doesn't like you know switch over that side and then I like to take my tangle teaser again and then brush through the knot again and then I like to split this again like probably a inch wide and then I like to take the straighteners the straighteners I'm using today is the Remington ones and um, you can get these at the catalogue or boots or super drug and I really like these ones because the heat goes up to 230 so it's really really good I have it on the highs because my hair is very frizzy and if any water touches it it's done it's gone for it back to frizzy so yeah i like to start like the middle of it and then go all the way down using the brush still to help him come through and then i just like to go over the middle and the end like about three times then i do the ends again and then i work my way up to the root so i split it like with the straighteners first so i do the top and then i do the bottom so i'll just show you again I split it with the straightness, wiggle my hair, and then to the top, and then the bottom again, and then I just like to go over it one more time, and then I just move it out of the way. And then I go on to the next piece, like an inch again, and then I start from the middle again. I don't know why I start from the middle, I just always do. Go down to the bottom, brush my brush through, go down to the bottom again, and then brush it through, and then work my way up to the top split it in half with the straighteners and then do the top of it then do the bottom of it and then do all of it again and then just move it out of the way now this bit does like get a little bit more tricky around your ears because i know some people are like very worried about burning their ears so i like to do it from the front this time like just i was like doing it from the back way but i like to put the straighteners around the back not the front sorry and then bring it around my face 
and still using the same routine from the middle to the bottom brushing it and then working my way up by holding your straightness in this angle you're actually going beyond your ear beyond your ear so you're not going to be like catching your ear or anything and then I like to do the bottom first when I'm running by my ear and then I do the top being careful you don't catch your ear I don't like to go straight to the root because that does flatten your hair if you like straightening right from your root so we're going to go to the opposite side now I'm just going to use this mirror here Again, you're going to brush through your knots, which is going to make it a lot more easier to straighten. And then you're going to section it half an inch. Move this to one side. You can clip this up if it's in your way. And then I'm going to go from middle, get your brush, brush it through, and then go up to the top. and then go through it all again now this might look like a lot like i'm doing this like super super fast and easy it's because i've been doing like this routine for a very long time now and i've just got used to the way i straighten my hair and the way it gets like really nice and sleek so yeah i'm just going to take it again inch sometimes i just brush it through with my fingers and then from the middle to the bottom again make sure you keep brushing your hair this is what's going to help get all the knots out and help you have that nice straight hair and then go through it all split it straighten it and then split it again and then go over it again now if you do have thicker hair then me you might gonna want you're gonna want to um take smaller sections of your hair my hair used to be a lot thicker than this um so yeah if you've got thicker hair than me by all means take um smaller sections so you can get it more sleek and um depending on the straighteners you've got the straighteners you use on your hair also helps with how sleek you can get your hair and how straight your hair is ended up looking so then once you've done that you're going to want to remove your clip and twizzle your hair and then section your hair off again so I like to start like around my temple so basically a diagonal line to the top of my brow so if you just like do that and then it, you measure it there and then you hold I like to hold this piece still keep my hair where I've just parted it go from the top of your brow again and then section it off like so then you're just going to want to pick the rest of your hair up Swing it round to the back and then just split it into two parts again. And then I'm going to take another inch. This section is going to be a lot more bigger than me uh, for me because um, I just like to take a bigger section because my hair isn't thin but it's not thick either but I feel like if you take like really really tiny sections you're not really going to get the volume at the top of your roots either so I'll just take a bigger piece by all means as I said if you've got thicker hair take a um, smaller um, slice of hair but I just like to do a thicker piece so I'm just going to take an inch and I like to bring this a lot more around the front and then start from my root this time and then work my way down Still brushing all the knots out as I go down the hair. And then again, just move it out the way. And then take another inch of the hair. And I'm going to start from the root again. Only straighten the root once because, as I said, obviously you still want it straight because you don't want it. Um, all kinky and fluffy so you want to make sure you use heat defense whenever you're putting heat on your hair that's what's going to stop like all the damage on your hair and especially serum as well because that's going to prevent any breakages and any dryness and brittleness on the ends of your hair I like to section this piece a lot more thin around my ear just because I don't want it to burn myself if you do have a thinner hair if you're wondering um, you will need to take thicker sections um, so it's not like you know really flat to your head you probably won't need the temperature on the straighteners so high because you've got a lot more thinner hair so it just will um, lessen the damage of your hair when you're putting the heat on it so I'm just going to like skip through this bit and then I'll show you how I'll straighten the top of my hair OK, 
Okay, so now that we've got the tops of our hair done, we're just going to take the rest of the remaining down. Now, I like to, um, sometimes I like to wear my hair in a middle parting, but even if I don't, I still slip my hair down the parting. Whenever I'm like styling my hair, I always make sure I'm doing it in a middle parting. So if I don't really want to do a middle parting throughout the night or when I go out, when I flip it over, I've still got a lot of volume in my hair. So that's the reason why I like to do it always down the center of the parting because when you flip it over, you're gonna left, be left with some volume in the front of your hair and in the top of your hair. So I'm just gonna um, straighten as normal from the root, but not like directly from the root, then going all the way down to the hair. And then when I get round to the front of my hair, I like to curve it around my face. So it just like shapes the face a little bit more. So I like to bring it like forward, take the straighteners around the back, and then like curve my straighteners round the shape of my face. Now you don't have to do this if you do want it like really, really straight, but this is also gonna help it look more volumized. And then I like to brush it to the back. And then it's the same with the fringe. I don't really like to straighten my fringe that much just because um, the front of my hair is a lot more thinner than the rest of my hair. So I like just to go a bit like really, really lightly not really putting any pressure on it and still curving around my face. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the opposite side, taking it out of the clip and then brushing out all the knots. So I've just curved that around my face and just finished doing this side and then what I like to do is Brush through it all again so I know there's no knots whatsoever. So this is what it looks like in the middle parting and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when I flip it over. So I like to rub my hands over and then as you can see there's a lot more like volume in the top of my roots because that's um, when there's there's a lot more volume in the roots because I straightened it like in my middle parting and then I also like curved it at the roots like around my face. So if you want like your roots not so flat, the best thing to do is grab a section of your hair. I'll just show you very quickly. Grab a section of your hair from the roots, get the straightener and bring it round. So as you can see that has left it like a little more va va -voume. And then when you bring it over here, you have got some volume in your fringe. So that's like one good trick. But yeah, guys, this is the end result. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. As I said, people are requesting um, me to do um, hair tutorials more on my channel so forth. People always ask me how I get my hair so straight and how it stays that straight and how I section and everything like that so forth. I would just do a simple hair tutorial on how I straighten my hair and everything like that. So if you did enjoy watching it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my upcoming tutorials. And also don't forget to give tutorials a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and yeah guys i have nothing more to tell you other than i love you all so much and hopefully i'll see you in my next tutorial but yeah bye guys